If you own a smartphone, no matter the brand, chances are you have WhatsApp. After all, with 3 billion users, it's hard not to be part of the WhatsApp community. We use it to share links, files, photos, and sometimes contacts. While sharing photos is not a question, not everyone knows how to share contacts on WhatsApp. In this video, we'll explore several practical ways to do just that on both iOS and Android. The easiest way to share a contact is right inside a WhatsApp chat. If you are on iPhone, tap the plus icon at the bottom or the paper clip icon on Android. Choose contact from the menu. Search for the contact and select it. On iPhone, tap next. On Android, tap the send arrow. Review the contact details. Deselect anything you don't want to share. Hit send and the contact will pop up right here in the chat. Open your contacts app and locate the person you want to share. Tap their name to open their contact page on iPhone and just tap the share icon on Android. Select share contact. On iPhone choose the details you want to share and tap done. From the sharing menu select WhatsApp and pick the chat or group. Review the contact card and uncheck any details you don't want to share. And tap send. If you need to send several contacts at once, creating a VCF file is your best bet. It's a bit more involved, but it gets the job done. Open the contacts app on your Android device, tap the menu icon, usually it's three dots, in the top right corner and select manage contacts. Choose import or export contacts, tap export, select internal storage, Confirm the export and your device will generate a contacts VCF file saved in the selected location. Now when the uh, VCF file is ready, let's go ahead and share it with WhatsApp. Go to the WhatsApp chat, tap the paperclip icon to attach the VCF file. Select document and go to browse documents. From here navigate to the storage location. Tap on your VCF file to attach it to the message and send the file. Exporting and sharing your contacts on iOS is a slightly quicker process than on Android. The integration between the contacts app and WhatsApp is a little better, so you can generate a VCF file and jump straight to sharing it without switching between apps a few times and searching for the file in your document. So let's go ahead and open the contacts app and move a step back to the lists tab. Select the contact list you want to share or choose all contacts for a complete export. Tap and hold all contacts or any other specific list you've selected and then choose export from the options. Review the contact details that will be included. Deselect any you don't want to share and tap done to generate the contact file. In the sharing options select WhatsApp, choose the recipient or group you want to share the file with and tap next. Once again review the contact core details and then tap done to share it. And this is what you need to do on Android and iPhone devices if you need to quickly share bulk contact information. So there you have it, a bunch of different ways to share WhatsApp contacts on iOS or Android operating systems, from simple single contact exchanges to bulk export. Sharing contacts across these platforms can take up to 10 taps or clicks and once sent, the contact is frozen in time. If any details change, you have to repeat the whole process, leaving your recipient stuck with outdated information. But if you need something that goes beyond occasional sharing, like working collaboratively and keeping contacts info up to date, Shared Contacts Manager is the way to go. It's the smarter choice for teams that need contact information to stay current, all while minimizing the hassle. With Shared Contacts Manager updates are instant, so everyone stays on the same page with the latest data. Perfect for businesses or teams who rely on accurate, accessible contact data. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips.